hip flexor tendonitis. It's that annoying feeling you get in the front of your hip, especially when you're running. So first, let's talk about stretching it. Go onto uh, a kneeling position. And what you want to do, you want to start with your hip over here behind the knee. A lot of people sit here and do this. And you're willing weight your back. Don't do that. Scoop your pelvis, like scoop the tailbone underneath you. Your hip is behind the knee. Move the shoulder and hip, this whole thing as one board coming directly forward. And as you come forward, you're going to feel the stretch. You may feel it right here, like I do. I've got the barrier right here. Hold it here for 30 seconds to a minute. You do that like twice a day. That's a good way to help stretch that out. Now let's strengthen the muscle. Find yourself a resistance band. Tie it to a good steady pull. Wrap it around your ankle. Now you're on your hands and knees. Engage that core. Feel the hip being resisted as you're bringing your knee up towards your chest. And then also control it as it comes back. So you want the resistance felt in both directions as you do this motion. Two sets of 10. Make sure you don't do any of this. Just stay squared off. Next, the butt. Thank you, Paul. You're going to lie on a nice physio ball. Squeeze your butt first and then lift that leg up. Hold one, two, three, and then come down. You really want to make sure that you squeeze that butt first, tighten it, because you want to train that hip to really get the butt to be the primary mover as you extend that hip. You're doing this like when you're running. This will give you a nice little push off. We're going to do two sets of 10. Always check with the physician before doing any exercise program. Remember, you may be sidelined, but not for long. I'm Amy McGorry on the upwing.